the general conviction among most researchers is that the speculation of how things came to be stays the essential clarification for the early phases of the universe. This hypothesis consolidates the advancement of stars, planets, and whatnot life on those planets, including ourselves. Not persevering, its really unconventional name, the Big Bang, offers an enlightening examination concerning what could have happened. At first, the universe was thick, in a short space more subtle than a pinhead, with particles thickly packed. From this moment point, a huge effect of matter and energy occurred, known as the Big Bang. This event, happening billions of years ago, clears a way for the fanning out of cosmic history. However, movements in logical information have incited growing abnormalities with the suppositions for the speculation of how things became. At the point when NASA launched the James Webb Space Telescope, the best and most high-level space science observatory of all time, Researchers calculated its perceptions would support the speculation of the universe's beginning point. Lamentably, after just a single year in space, the telescope bewildered examiners with its ability to peer profoundly into the universe's past. The James Webb Telescope's astounding capacities have revealed boundless systems tracing all the way back to a period so antiquated that it challenges our comprehension of the universe's beginnings. This disclosure has touched off an uncommon assessment into what existed before the Big Bang. One fundamental moment in this mission happened when cosmologist Rohan Natu, working with information from the telescope, unexpectedly found a world returning only a brief time frame after the Big Bang, making it the most settled world at any point noticed. Natu's disclosure sent shock waves through laid-out experts, highlighting the exceptional limit of the James Webb Telescope. Its main goal to change our impression of the universe has simply begun, promising to uncover remarkable experiences into the earliest of the universe's presence. This epic, hardly talked about before, holds the way to figuring out the headway of the essential stars and frameworks. The telescope's disclosures have gone against beginning speculations, revealing frameworks with qualities surpassing past calculates. This surprising surge of early systems has touched off a hurricane of logical request, testing analysts to adjust these experiences to existing speculations. As researchers wrestle with these disclosures, they face basic inquiries with respect to the key nature of the universe and the powers molding its advancement. Other than the James Webb Telescope's headway, which is progressive, it is arranged 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth, protected from earthly obstruction and cooled near absolute zero by its tennis court-sized overhang. The telescope conveys an enormous segmented reflect and dazzlingly delicate instruments intended to uncover subtleties of the early universe at this point never seen. This period, known as the Cosmic Dawn, happened around several hundred million years after the Big Bang, implying the period when the first stars and galaxies started to shape. The course of how this unfurled remains a subject of serious investigation, with speculations going from the impacts of dark matter and dark energy to the interactions among starlight, gas, and dust. The telescope's perspective on systems from cosmic dawn presents a mind-blowing opportunity for cosmologists to test how they could decipher these puzzling qualities. By investigating these ancient systems, examiners can either affirm the legitimacy of their continuous models or reveal holes in understanding that could lead to basic new discoveries. At first, it was projected that the telescope would see a few weak and little galaxies in its pilot appraisals. However, Reality has far exceeded these assumptions. The telescope's initial photos of the far-off universe uncovered a plethora of galaxies with ages, sizes, and brilliance that surpassed all suspicions. This disturbing abundance of early universes has set off a race among space experts to secure new records for the earliest known galaxies. Every week conveys examples of one more record-breaking revelation leaving the scholastic community in shock and inducing a reassessment of our comprehension of cosmic history. Following the James Webb Telescope's disclosures, analysts and eyewitnesses have rushed to inspect the presence of these startlingly developed early galaxies. Some estimate that imperfections in the investigation of the telescope's major perceptions might be liable for these offbeat disclosures. That said, the consensus remains. These disclosures address a change in viewpoint in how we might interpret the early universe and offer captivating pieces of information about the idea of astronomical advancement. The new disclosures from the James Webb Space Telescope regarding galaxies raised critical inquiries about the nature of the universe and tested the questions of standard cosmological models. While certain researchers contemplate whether these perceptions can be accommodated with existing hypotheses, 
Others suggest they may be the principal signs that the universe is significantly more complex and complicated than previously envisioned. The question isn't anything less than our essential comprehension of how the universe we know emerged from early-stage disarray. The early disclosures of the JWST could possibly reshape our principal ideas of vast history, uncovering experiences not just on far-off worlds and antiquated frameworks, but also on the real presence of our own Milky Way. As Mark McCarran, Senior Scientist for Science and Investigation at the European Space Agency, puts it, you foster these machines not to affirm the worldview, but to break it. You simply have no idea how it will break. The beginnings of JWST can be traced back to the Space Telescope Science Institute in 1985, even before the Hubble Space Telescope was launched. Around that time, G. Weir, then director of STSCI, was tasked with imagining what could come after Hubble. Notwithstanding starting reservations, Weir and a small gathering began laying the basis for what might ultimately turn into the James Webb Space Telescope. Unlike Hubble, which essentially captures visible light, JWST was intended to see in the infrared range, permitting it to peer much deeper into the universe. This ability is critical for contemplating far-off galaxies whose light has been extended into the infrared due to the expansion of the universe, making them undetectable to telescopes like Hubble. With its gigantic cold star-like mirror, JWST turned into the best instrument for opening the mysteries of cosmic dawn. The need for JWST was highlighted in 1995 when the Hubble Deep Field Perception uncovered an abundance of systems in what was thought to be an unfilled patch of sky. This revelation exhibited the lavishness of the early universe and highlighted the need for a telescope fit for examining fundamentally deeper into astronomical history. Following 20 years of development and at a cost of around $10 billion, JWST was at last sent off on Christmas Day in 2021. By July 2022, it was prepared to begin its most foremost year of logical perceptions. Early drives, like the Early Release Science Program and the Grand Early Release Science Program, were explicitly intended to look for early galaxies. While beginning assumptions were unobtrusive, the outcomes far surpassed them. The JWST perceptions have tested existing speculations about the early universe, uncovering galaxies that test standard models. These frightening revelations highlight the significance of pushing the limits of logical request and feature the remarkable abilities of cutting-edge advancements like the James Webb Space Telescope. As researchers continue to disentangle the privileged secrets of the universe, they are ready to re-examine how we might interpret astronomical history and the powers that have formed our universe into what we see today. The early experiences made by the James Webb Space Telescope have astonished space experts by uncovering unimaginably far-off frameworks very quickly. Before JWST, the most far-off known galaxy was GNZ 11, found in 2015, with a redshift of 11, corresponding to a period of around 400 million years after the Big Bang. However, at the beginning of JWST perceptions, the GLASS collaboration, led by Rohan Natu and another independent group, made a huge revelation. They identified a galaxy named Glass Z13 with a redshift of 13, roughly 70 million years prior in vast history than GNZ11. The rapid speed of these revelations was facilitated by refined methods for assessing redshift, which, while less exact than direct estimations, provide a quick evaluation of a far-off world's distance. Surprisingly, Glass Z13 showed up extraordinarily bright and massive, with a mass basically undefined from billions of suns notwithstanding being a lot younger than the Milky Way. Subsequent revelations divulged even more shocking findings. Various galaxy candidates with estimated redshifts as high as 20, showing their development only a brief time after the Big Bang. Some of these frameworks exhibited structures not expected to appear so early in vast history. Besides, proof arose for galaxies almost vague in size to the Milky Way at a redshift of 10, only 500 million years after the Big Bang. These quick progressions challenge the presumptions of the standard cosmological model, Lambda Cold Dark Matter, Lambda CDM, which describes the universe's development based on how we might interpret dark energy and dark matter. According to this model, systems of such size and splendor shouldn't have formed so early in astronomical history. The development of huge galaxies in the early universe presents a huge riddle for cosmologists to tackle. To comprehend this issue, it is essential to understand the beginning phases of the universe's development. In the principal seconds after the Big Bang, the universe was a hot and thick super-gathering of early-stage particles. 
Over a long period, the primary stars began to form, making the building blocks for galaxies. This course of vast advancement, from tumultuous beginnings to the coordinated universe we notice today, is accepted to have taken around one billion years. JWST perceptions have tested this worldview by uncovering galaxies that appear excessively mature for their enormous age. Rather than noticing various little proto-galaxies converging to form larger, enormous galaxies, as was true to form by current models, JWST has identified galaxies that are already sizable and brilliant. Perceptions with instruments like the Atacama Large Millimeter Array in Chile have provided additional proof supporting the legitimacy of these far-off galaxies, testing the possibility of low redshift intruders. These heavy disclosures open new roads for understanding the early universe and may require updates to our predominant cosmological models. JWST continues to reshape our comprehension of astronomical history, testing our presumptions and stretching the boundaries of cosmic inquiry. The shortfall of distinguishable residue in the experiences made by the Atacama Large Millimeter Array highlights the difficulties faced by telescopes in validating perceptions made by the high-level capacities of the James Webb Space Telescope. As Rohan Nata noted, while JWST can expand upon its own discoveries, Alma's trouble in recognizing the huge galaxy highlights the intricacies of affirming such revelations. The ramifications of JWST's discoveries are significant, possibly testing the laid-out Lambda CDM cosmological model and requiring corrections. Michael B. and Cullen expressed shock at the outcomes, suggesting a crucial departure from our current comprehension of cosmology. One theoretical hypothesis that could make sense of these disclosures is modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, which challenges the presence of dark matter and proposes elective clarifications for noticed gravitational impacts. JWST perceptions line up with modified assumptions. However, there is skepticism among certain experts, for example, JP, who highlight the troubles in accommodating modified dynamics with existing knowledge. On the other hand, the shortfall of residue in early galaxies could provide a more straightforward explanation for their brilliance, possibly surprising endeavors to measure their masses. Andrea Ferrara recommends that residue might not have had adequate chance to frame in the early universe or may have been stripped away during universe development. Charlotte Mason and her partners suggested that JWST may overwhelmingly be identifying the most brilliant youthful galaxies, which are simpler to recognize. David Spurgle posits that serious high-mass star development in the early universe could make sense of the noticed brilliance of these galaxies. He conjectures that early stellar populations might have played a role in triggering star development, providing a likely clarification for the rapid ascent of galaxies in the early universe. The quick flood of logical papers coming from JWST's initial insights highlights the meaning of these revelations and the basic suggestions they hold for how we may decipher cosmology. As scientists continue to analyze JWST information, they could uncover further experiences that test and expand our understanding of the universe. When the initial information started moving from the James Webb Space Telescope, cosmologists were anxiously expecting the outcomes. Many had been dealing with their information examination pipelines for a long time, getting ready for this moment. Instead of following the conventional peer review process, which can frequently require months, cosmologists selected to share their revelations on AR-14, a stage where preprints can be transferred after negligible review by specialists. This approach took into account one more sort of friend survey to unfurl in close to constant on stages like Twitter and other virtual entertainment channels. Rohan Natu describes it as science by press release, and the resulting whirlwind of conversation was serious and remarkable. Nancy Levinson, the in-between time head of STSCI, concedes to underrating the size of the peculiarity. However, there are worries about the possible downsides of this quick spread of revelations. Claus Pontypool, JWST project researcher at STSCI, noticed that while the quick sharing of results works with speedy exposure and conversation, there is a risk of overwhelming the process. The generally conviction among most researchers is that the speculation of how things came to be stays the essential clarification for the beginning phases of the universe. This hypothesis includes the advancement of stars, planets, and life on those planets, including ourselves. In spite of its eccentric name, the Big Bang offers an enlightening examination concerning what could have happened. At first, the universe was thick, packed into a space more modest than a pinhead, 
loaded up with firmly stuffed particles. From this tiny point, a huge blast of issue and energy happened, known as the Big Bang. This occasion, happening billions of years back, set up for the unfurling of cosmic history. However, progressions in logical information have prompted expanding inconsistencies with the presumptions encompassing this theory. When NASA launched the James Webb Space Telescope, the largest and most exceptional space science observatory at any point made, researchers guessed that its perceptions would support the hypothesis of the universe's starting point. Sadly, after only one year in space, the telescope amazed analysts with its remarkable capacity to dive profoundly into the universe's past. The James Webb Telescope's noteworthy capacities have uncovered worlds tracing all the way back to such old times that they challenge our comprehension of the universe's beginnings. This disclosure has ignited serious investigation into what existed previously the Big Bang. A vital moment happened when cosmologist Rohan Natu, working with information from the telescope, inadvertently found a cosmic system going back a brief time frame after the Big Bang, making it the most established world at any point noticed. Nata's findings sent shockwaves through laid-out mainstream researchers, highlighting the extraordinary abilities of the James Webb Telescope. Its central goal to change our comprehension of the universe has, as it were, just begun, with the commitment of divulging critical bits of knowledge into the earliest sagas of the universe's presence. This period, previously little talked about, holds essential data about the arrangement of the principal stars and systems. The telescope's discoveries have challenged beginning suspicions, uncovering universes with qualities outperforming past assumptions. This surprising inundation of early universes has lighted a hurricane of logical request, testing scientists to accommodate these perceptions with existing speculations. As researchers wrestle with these disclosures, they face basic inquiries about the key nature of the universe and the powers molding its advancement.